peace upon you. I am Dr. Ahmed Taha. Today we'll talk about how to perform a shoulder or cervical surgeries under nerve block alone without any journey uh, The problem with the shoulder and clavicle surgery is that is the patient we don't have an access to the patient face and airway. Uh, first of all, you have to do a, perform a good block and to assess it adequately. But the main point is the setup on the inside the OT. Uh, to have this kind of awake surgery, first it depends on the patient. The patient must be cooperative. If you don't have a cooperative patient, you have to give him a light general anesthesia as well, in addition to the nerve block. If you don't have an access to the airway and the patient is not cooperative, it will be a disaster. The second one is that we sedate the patient depends on that level of, of that breathing uh, raise. So sampling, uh, CO2 sampling under the oxygen mask is a very important point. So you will infuse your medication, which is mostly Provofol. Sometimes I prefer to add uh, Remifentanil infusion as well. So in this way, we monitor the patient breathing by the carbonogram, and we tailored our using uh, increasing or decreasing the infusion rate according to the breathing rate and rate. Okay. The second point is, is that patient uh, oxygen, oxygenation of CO2. Unfortunately, when the patient is trapped, the CO2 coming out from his breathing is not have no way to exhaust. And so the CO2 is accumulated under the traps. This will cause re-breathing for the patient because there's no way that CO2 is exhausted. So to minimize this risk breathing, that point is to increase the fresh gas flow of the oxygen to many liters, not only one or three liters that's usually used. You may increase it to six, eight, 12, to minimize the inspiratory CO2 rebreathing because if you don't do this you find that inspired CO2 level is high. One other important point is claustrophobia. A lot of patients during grabbing the patients he doesn't like that drabs come on his face. It makes him feel not comfortable. So there is some way you can prevent this by putting the drabs on the holder so you cannot put in a direct contact between the flap and the patient face. And cool. lastly you have to have an emergency plan, plan B and which I usually use extend the breathing circuit under the draps so I make it the tip behind me near the patient face so in emergency situation I can go under the draps and inserting LMA and connecting to the tube without disturbing the sterilization of the patient as you will see in the next videos okay. if you cannot do this in your hospital or you are not sure about this it is safe very safely to insert to add the general anesthesia with a slight light general anesthesia with LMA in addition to the center screen ball. Smile! Oh! <laughs> okay. Yes, I am smiling. Cool. Okay, good. After the patient got scalene block, uh, we must care about oxygen and this is the capno so we can monitor his breathing during surgery and as backup you put here the circuits of general anesthesia if you want to give general anesthesia at any moment you can go behind down below drapes and insert it and this one can help you to make the patient if you have claustrophobia or something and nothing can be pressurized on the patient head